very bad lighting again, I know, but good morning everyone. Day two in London. I am currently having a big breakfast and we are now getting ready to head out for another day in London. Good night, black pudding. I don't want black pudding. <laughs> All right, day number two, Edgware Station. Let's catch the train and head into the city. Yesterday we got off at, sorry, I've got something in my hand, bank. Today we're getting off at Charing Cross. I just went and got myself a, whoops, hang on, <laughs> a LucasAid because I'm not feeling the best. I am feeling much better than yesterday, but I need a bit of a, a pick-me-up. We have arrived to Charing Cross. And we're coming up and out. Back into London for day two. Where are we actually? I know we're in Charing Cross, but like, Tourist wise, I have no idea what this stuff is. That looks beautiful. Again, with the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I will try not to do that today. We're in Trafalgar Square. That's where we are. We, this is where we were last night, but it was really dark, and so I couldn't really show you much. Jesus, I prefer the sound of our police cars. Oh my goodness. All right, first off, we're going to head this way because we're going to Pandora to see if we can get any more souvenir charms. I'm pretty sure this massive church here is St. Martin in the Fields which is where the first time I came to England my grandparents and I caught a black cab parked right out front got out and went and watched Vivaldi's Four Seasons performed live by this beautiful beautiful string string um, orchestra. I am 99% sure that that's this. Again in another part of London that I've never been. We've just kept walking behind. I think this is Covent Garden actually. Yes, it is. Um, we just kept walking. Where are we going, Dad? Because the thing's got 10 seconds straight. Okay. The, the, we just kept walking behind Trafalgar Square after some Martin in the fields. And yeah, this is where we are. Well, Pandora's meant to be up here somewhere from the, the map when I looked at it. We found Pandora. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any the English charms. We've got, we've got Christmas. I'm in Pandora in Covent Garden and look, where did I just put it? I have to fix it later and put it with all my English charms. But look, I got Big Ben on a charm. Oh, I love it so much. Got my Pandora fix. I'm very happy. It's on my bracelet. I'll probably buy, actually no, not, not from Pandora. I'll probably buy one more piece of jewelry. I want like a Celtic ring in Ireland, but that's for when I get back to Ireland. But for now, what are we doing now? We're probably going to walk through West End, I think. Yeah, this lighting is shocking. Let's go. There we go. This, um, we'll probably go walk through West End and Trafalgar Square before we do Westminster Abbey. Hippo, no, the Hippodrome Casino. Again, something I've never seen before. Anyway. Like I said, we're walking down towards Trafalgar. Are we walking through West End? Yes. <laughs> Good. That looks adorable and like a massive tourist trap, so I won't go in. But look at all the stuff I'd probably spend a fortune. <laughs> look how cool this is. Little Harry Potter statue, Jesus, Dad. Oh, yeah, okay, take a photo. The, Har the, the Harry Potter statue was just down there. There's Mary Poppins. And now... I think we're going to take a stroll into Lego, it's not Lego land, it's like a Lego shop, but um, I'm hoping to get something from Musa from here because he loves Lego. How cool, they have a little Gringotts bank, there's so much happening in here, but anyway, we're going to go upstairs because I want to look for something specific and I have no idea what upstairs looks like because the last time I was here, I never actually came to the upstairs part. Oh, that looks cool. Oh my gosh, it's massive. Look at this big Ben made out of Lego. That is insane. I'm pretty sure that's Westminster. No, that's Notre Dame. Made out of Lego. Look at this place. Literally, look at the bus. Made out of Lego. And this guy. Is that Shakespeare? That's Shakespeare. Made out of the Lego. Oh my gosh, all the Harry Potter stuff made out of Lego here too. Look, this Harry Potter. Ron, Hagrid. That was my name, obviously. This is so cool. I can't believe how much it's all just made out of Lego. It would have taken them ages to make. I'll show you guys Gringotts a little bit closer if I can. I just don't want to ruin anyone's photos. Look, there's the bloody Big Ben. Oh, that's Look at that. Sorry. Look. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Just like a clock that's, I'm assuming, ringing on the hour. I don't know. Oh, it's just making music. Unfortunately, it's a bit dark for you guys, sorry. Look, there's a tea shop. No, I don't want to have a look because I'd be too tempted. 
<laughs> oh, here you go. Maybe it's better lighting for you to see it from this angle. Anyway. Oh, this is cool. What are all of these? Time for it. Wizards and Witches. I'm absolutely going into this place. <laughs> Call it a tourist trap. I don't care. Happy woman because I got something. I can't really tell you guys what it is in case he sees the video, but I got him something that he's going to really, really like. That's all I can say. And I also am very proud of myself. I didn't get myself anything. And I was in a Harry Potter themed store, which is a big surprise for me. Dad was just saying that down there when we were last here is where we went on um, in the... It's the West End to watch the Phantom of the Opera down there. So, can't believe I don't recognize the street, but that's apparently where it was. And we are now in Piccadilly. This is very much recognizable for me, thankfully. Finally, something. <laughs> I even Dad agrees, something I recognize. <laughs> anyway, Piccadilly, and it is beautiful. It's definitely a place you can't forget if you have. Uh, have been here before. Look at all the beautiful buildings. It's so cohesive in its design. So we're leaving behind me there is Piccadilly. We're leaving now heading down to go through St. James Garden. Did I say that right? St. James Garden? St. James. Oh, there's the horse's guard dad. Oh my gosh remember we went and took photos there with all the autumn leaves? <laughs> um, and uh, well yeah and um, we're going to head up through past Buckingham Palace before we head to Westminster. Coming down now along that road we were walking along last night where I said this is where the royal procession takes place if there's ever you know some sort of event. You can see all the way at the end there Buckingham Palace. British police casually walking around on on horses. Well I shouldn't say walking trotting <laughs> on horses. There's some those, some of those gates into the James Garden. We are getting close. So look at all these black cabs. Honest to God, how can half of these people afford it? They're so expensive to travel in. How cool down there are some of the Queen's guards. Oh, you can't get any closer. There's the, the chain barricading it. That's all right. They're pacing up and down. I don't know what's behind. Oh, yes. Dad said King James Palace or something is behind there. But also I think Clarence House is further down. Um, sorry, I'll zoom out. Down there to the left in front of, well not in front of, but near Buckingham Palace. Anyway, I wish I could get in and show you guys a closer look. Dad's just checked for me. That on the left is Lancaster House and on the right is Clarence House. Which, expl which, <laughs> which explains why there are guards pacing up and down outside. And now they've stationed themselves, but that makes a lot more sense. There she is. Nice and bright in daylight. I showed you guys yesterday with the beautiful sunset, which is a, which was a nice view too, but it's nice to see it in daylight as well. All right, crossing the road to head over, once these cars clear, to head over to Zibelis. Feels very fancy schmack. Oh, he's letting us cross, thank you. All right. We are here on a beautiful sun shining day. Oh my god. Do you reckon if I just go knock on the front door, they'll let me in? <laughs> do, you, do you reckon if I ask for a room for a night, they might be like, oh, sure. Don't they have like bloody 88 or something in there? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is. 90% No, honest to God. This is. I don't know how many times I've been out at the front of this, at least about six times, because each time I've come here, I've been here twice. So I think this is like my sixth. Maybe even more because dad and I were here so often. Uh, I'm gonna say at least seven or eight times actually. <laughs> now I'm going to walk right up to the gates, which is something I have seldom done because there's always a lot of tourists. But I think today is the day I'm just gonna push on through. All right, knock, knock, bus a cup. Let's, <laughs> let's see. Oh wow, what a beautiful building. We're just going to head down now, but I want to see if I can go in from here and give you guys another view. Actually, there's nothing really you can see in from this side because of that box. Oh, you can kind of see a little bit over there. Unfortunately, we have to keep moving on. Bye bye Buckingham. On to the next tourist attraction. Uh, West, Westminster Abbey now, I think we're going, yeah. And hopefully, I think this one will actually be going in. We're just in the Buckingham Palace souvenir sh store, or shop store, same thing. And look at these, aren't they cute? They're little um, Christmas ornaments and I've got so many on my tree already. And I can't justify constantly buying more, but isn't this nice as a teacup? 
and actually over here sorry that teapot and over here they have the tea cup which is so cute as well that's a really pretty looking pub i'm probably just saying that because it's green and gold <laughs> but it is a very pretty pub there's the abbey right down there but first we've just come from down there we're going to head in for a quick coffee break there was nowhere to sit in that one so let's try here Pre I don't even know how to say this one properly. Fred a manger or something? We have arrived. There's the Abbey. Time to finally go inside. I have been in here so many times and we've never been allowed to film. I can't believe that now they allow us to film. See? Photography. Oh my gosh, just no flash. No selfie sticks either. Oh well, I don't have a selfie stick, so that's fine. Anyway, I'll zoom out, but that's not doing this justice. Look! My god, this is one of my favorite places for a reason. Let's turn around the side. We've just come in straight. This is what I just showed you guys. But now, let's go down the side here. So we've come around. This is the actual other entrance from the outside where I kept taking photos and showing you guys. And then you turn around here. And there is that front entrance. And on one side is Charles Darwin and on the other side is Isaac Newton. For each baby born and the joy of parenthood, we pray for all who are called to be parents, the adopted parents, grandparents, godparents, step-parents. That was a beautiful prayer. All right, come around the side and into the choir. Yeah? Hey, do you want to go in and do the prayer thing? And if we get lost, we'll just meet back. Yeah. If <laughs> you want to do the prayer thing with the confessor? Yeah, why not? With the hidden tool. Yeah, why not? I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven. We just walked through these doors. <gasps> We just had a little bit of a prayer in the near rather the tomb of St. Edward, which I'll tell you guys about later. But look at this. Oh, oh my god. Wow. The tomb of Queen Elizabeth the First and Queen Mary the First. Oh yes, I remember this. They were enemies in life and then together in death. Queen Mary of Scots.
brilliance. And I'm not sure out of these three, whose is whose. And perhaps surely to God it's this one, which is massive. Wow. Yeah, it must be this one. It must be. And I'm pretty sure that says it there. But I could be very wrong. Look at these. Oh no, the whole shrine must be for her. I've just come back around from there. And apparently this is meant to be Cromwell's, Cromwell's grave. I don't know, but I need to confirm, but I think it is, apparently, according to my, according to my dad. No, it's not, it's the tomb of King Henry the Seventh. but I can't read Roman numerals, and Elizabeth of York. So then where is the tomb of Cromwell? Found it. This is where we just were, the Shrine of St. Edward the Confessor, which, if you look through here, you can see just a little bit up there. I'll try and put photos on screen if I can, but around the shrine, there were some kings and queens of England. So that was pretty cool for my inner history nerd to see. I am pretty sure Poet's Corner is somewhere around, no, I think it's over there on that side. Oh, I'm so confused, I can't remember where, but I'm pretty sure it's on one of these sides. Somewhere, so oh wait, 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 around the side, around the side, around the side, there we go. Poets Corner, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Charles Dickens, Handel, one of my favorite composers. Oh, and right up there, Keats. Oh my gosh. Okay, Charter House. zoom out. God. That's where we just came through. In here. Wow. Look at these gardens. Oh my gosh. My heart. I could I did live here but I was going to say I could live here but forever. Honestly. Look at these and there's two sorry zoom out. There's two of these doors. of these doors like I just they're massive and oh my god the, look at the the lock system on the back whoa huge oh my gosh there's the coronation chair that's where I remember look at all the engravings on it I don't want to leave the abbey but we unfortunately have to leave the abbey but there's like an hour, if that, left of sunshine in London. So this lighting is <laughs> a little bit uh, intense. But anyway, time to go and do the rest of what we can before we have to leave London. Westminster Abbey shop, come on. Let's go and sell my soul. <laughs> we just came out of the Abbey back there. And I just want to stand here and show you how long Westminster Palace is before you get to Big Ben. Bloody hell, it is massive, and that's Churchill's statue there at the end. I wish the lighting was showing up on the camera. The sun, as it's going down, in my eyes, looks like it's almost glistening off of the... Or maybe you can see it a bit there, like it's glistening off of the clock. And there is the front view of Churchill's statue. I actually don't know what we're doing now, by the way. <laughs> I, um, 
I'm not sure, but all I am sure of is how beautiful that building is. And just because this is probably the last time I'll be here for a while, I, oh, that is very loud. Hang on, merciful Christ, because it's the probably, because once dad and auntie Jill and I head back, which are they are behind me there. Once we head back, it's going to be the last time I'm here for a while. So, because tomorrow we're doing our road trip around um, the Cotswolds. So, just wanted to take definitive evidence of me being right here. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but there is a pipe player in the back there, right in the center. Barely can see him, to be honest. He's moving there in the center there. And I'm just observing, absorbing rather, London. I'm so sad because I'm really just having to accept that this is my last time here for a while. I have no idea when I'll be back. I'd love to find out because I know life is crazy in that you never know what could happen. But I would love to just think that, you know, I'll be back again before I know it. But having lived here, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> having lived here for so long and falling in love with it and then now having to leave. <laughs> I'm going to be so sad, as you can probably hear anyway. How embarrassing, but I do love this city very much and I can't even explain why. But I found myself here and I love it so, so much. I am actually so sad. I love this place and I just definitely don't want to leave. <laughs> anyway, better take in the most of it while I can because Lord knows when I'll be back. <laughs> now that we're leaving, I'm recognizing a few places because we've walked a lot around here. The horse's guard, excuse me, I got the hiccups. The horse's guard is down there. But we are now going for a walk. I just mentioned how we've left there. You can still see Big Ben um, towards Harrods for the rest of the evening or something of the like anyway. Isn't this a nice walk? Gosh, that is really, really pretty. So autumnal. Look, a squirrel. Oh, how cute. Hi. Hello, you're eating it. <laughs> what a cutie. How cute. There you are. Aww. Yesterday, we came down from there and went straight across there. And I think I did mention on camera, it might be nice to have crossed the bridge because of the view. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do now. All right, let's see, ready? Oh, oh. Buckingham Palace. Then over here, I don't know what's that in the background, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. Oh, that bird just did a really pretty swim. A duck, I should say, sorry. Well, a duck is a bird, but yeah. I don't know what that is in the background, but it's very, very pretty. We've just come up from there after going through the gardens, St. James Gardens, and this, Dad said, is St. James's Palace. So Clarence House is on the other side then? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Brilliant. Again, never been here before, never seen this. This is the front of where we just came around on the side of St. James's Palace. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> this is very true. So now, according to this, we're going to St. James Street. And this yeah. is a beautiful street as well. I lied when I yeah. said to you guys that I was going to stop using that word because that's all I've used today. I really like this sort of style. It's behind glass so you can't really see, but I do quite like it. Anyway, around the corner we go. I don't, well, you can kind of see. I mean, I'm not really into the bags, but I do love these sorts of jackets. Dad just said to me that that is Spencer House. Also, by the way, before I forget, I got this cross bracelet when I was in West... Sorry, that's very loud. When I was in Westminster Abbey. All right, we've just gone through a little plain way. <laughs> oh, God. I'm remembering so much on this side. I remember the first time Granny and Granddad and I came here. Oh, hello. Um, where, oh, sorry, Dad. Wellington what? Archway. Oh, Wellington Archway. I remember the the tour bus, like that one right there, was taking us around here. I think this is one of the first places we came because we were staying in, like near Earl's Court, roughly speaking. So it came from the opposite direction of where we're staying at the moment. And there it is, Harrods. We've arrived at Harrods. 
oops, time to go in and do some shopping. And I'd like to say some damage, but <laughs> we all know that that's um, not in my price bracket. Oh. <laughs> Literally like David Jones, but on steroids. <laughs> My favorite store. Oh, look. Versace in Harrods. Central escalators. We've been trying to find them for a bit. Ha ha, there we go. The beautiful Egyptian influence. Look, see everywhere in here, there is an Egyptian influence because of Dodi Fire, the, the owner. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay, let's go up. Look at it. Menswear. This is a fancy elevator. A ve oh, a very fancy <laughs> elevator. We're going now to the gift store, I believe. Well, we hope so. Yeah, well, we hope so. My God, there's a chocolate hall. And we're currently in like the food hall where you can get um, not just food, but also your groceries. I never saw this in here before. Okay, I'm in a Christmas store in Harrods. God help me. Anyway, time for the Harrods gift shop. I could have bought so many things just then in the um, in the Christmas store. Unbelievable. Oh, look at all of this still. Oh, this is all so beautiful, especially the green stuff. So we've left Harrods, just going now to try and find a souvenir store for my, my auntie. And then hopefully somewhere for dinner because we're very hungry. And um, we are getting to see London at night again. It's nowhere near as cold as it was last night. At least not yet anyway. This hotel, whatever hotel it is, is so pretty. It's all lit up. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just bought in um, Harrods. Sorry, I keep zooming in because I'm trying to walk at the same time. I um, just bought like a little tiny bag, which I'll obviously show you everything later. But I just bought a little, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like a little bag where you put all your little like knickknacks into. That way when you're taking a changing handbags you just take it in and out of each bag really easily so like yeah, if you're great. ever carrying yeah, um, like me you know a nail file bobby pins a floss stick um band-aids neurofen all those like little things that you carry in your handbags if you're ever changing bags regularly it's so easy to just slip it in and out of that bag and then put it in the next bag brilliant anyway i got it and it's really cute and it's in my little shopping bag that i have carted around this whole day my wrist is bright red from it hanging off of it and my my arms are so sore from holding it but anyway it'll be worth it in the end all right now i should probably put my phone down and keep walking because god forbid i run into something trying to find somewhere to eat this says classic british pub food i don't know what it, they are the rose and crow this is called it says best fish and chips in town so that's exactly what we're going to try now dinner is served thank you a ketchup yeah thank you so i got my fish and chips dad got a mushroom and what well, i know chicken and wild mushroom pie and nani jill got a chicken salad that all looks really good actually how nice Hi, this little hallway is, this must have been someone's home at one stage. Anyway, back down the stairs. That was a great meal, by the way. I really enjoyed those fish and chips. But now it's time to head back home. We'll walk through the streets of London before catching the train. Burlington House. And this person is just shutting these beautiful looking gates out of nowhere. I've never seen something like that before how nice back in piccadilly only at night time piccadilly gives me like real real city vibes at night like almost i almost imagine that this is what new york might be like at night time i get a new york vibe from piccadilly yeah, yeah. yeah this reminds me especially the, yeah yeah times square vibes from from piccadilly but look 
Such a pretty city, even at night time. Another one in there. As my auntie just said, time to say bye bye London, time to head back home. Maybe I should take one more view and take it all in before I have to go.